the Mumbles Lifeboat Station, like the RNLI, we're a charity, part of the RNLI Greater Charity. I'm the Lifeboat Operations Manager. Like most of the crew, I'm a volunteer. Uh, I'm on call 24-7. I'm actually one of the uh, recent crewmen, uh, so I joined um, coming up to four, four months ago now in December. I'm an um, emergency mechanic on the all-weather lifeboat and helmsman on the inshore lifeboat. So I joined the lifeboat crew in about September 2007. The expectation is that they live within two, two and a half miles so that they can get down in time for the boats uh, launching. I've always wanted to be on the RLI uh, as a crewman and uh, living in Swansea about three miles away meant that I was never close enough to the station to get involved. I've always been interested in the RLI. There was this thing about um, um, not being able to wear glasses on the boat. Then they sort of changed the rules, and then all of a sudden we could we could join the crew, and that's what happened. It is about responding when the pages go off, and that's now 24/7. It's not a day you don't leave the house without your, your pager on your hip. Quite often I've forgotten my mobile phone, but I have my pager with me. Middle of the night, um, you know, just got home from a hard day's work and stuff like that. The expectation is that you will you will still respond because people need you. I'd like to think, you know, if I were out on the water doing leisure activities, that there'd be someone there to, to help me out if I got stuck or if my engine failed. We don't know when the call comes in, what, what we're coming down to the station for. But when you go on the phone and they sort of, the Coast Guard says it's a person in the water or vessel sinking, something like that, then the chatter goes quiet and everyone just sort of gets on with the job then. Only a couple of weeks ago we went to a, a, a ship which was taken on water, so we went out at um, about half state in the evening, having not had tea yet, and then didn't get in until six the following day, and I was uh, just about ready then to go to work. The Mumbles Lifeboat Station is a, a huge part of the community of Mumbles and Oystermouth, and you know, people grow up with it, and uh, you know, luckily lots of people aspire to, to be part of it. Well, it's good. You definitely feel part of a, a true family, and you maybe didn't think you, it would be quite as close as that. Um, the crew will go in full uniform to, to church, so we go to um, Remembrance Day and the carol service. I'm a local historian here in Mumbles, and in 2013 I was commissioned by the RNLI to write a history book about the Mumbles lifeboat station. Once I got down to the boathouse and got to know the crew, they were amazing. I couldn't have done the book without them. We've had a lifeboat station at the Mummels for over 150 years, and in that time, 18 lifeboat crew have lost their lives on service, and that's in three disasters. One in 1883, when four men were drowned off Mummels Head. One 20 years later in 1903, where six lost their lives at the entrance to Port Talbot um, Harbour. And the most recent one, just over 70 years ago, uh, 1947, was when the entire crew of the lifeboat Ever Prince of Wales lost their lives going to the rescue of the crew of a ship called the San Tampa. Mumbles was a very, very small community. Everyone in that lifeboat was someone's father, someone's son, their brother, their uncle, their cousin. Everybody knew everyone that was in that. There were memorials in the church. So we've got the huge window. Within a few weeks, the entire money plus more had been raised. Such was the public response here in the village to making that stained glass window. In the tracer, you've got eight white discs which represent the souls of the eight lifeboat crew. So it's incredibly moving. I never come into the church without stopping to look at that window. Being able to volunteer, it's, it's just um, something, something selfless to do. That it does need to be a, a, a long-standing commitment. Definitely a commitment. We're very lucky. We've got a good community who are committed to the lifeboat station. Do you murmur a prayer, my brother, when cosy and safe in bed? For men like these, who are ready to die for a wreck off Mumble's head.